Hello, I'm Dragos and in this video we're going to take a look to Light LLM. Light LLM is a uh, proxy for your AI applications that will format the requests that are coming to it to a standard OpenAI format. And in this way your application will only need to know one format, it will not uh, need to know the other format that are used. Basically every LLM has a different format and this uh, Light LLM it will format the request coming from your applications to the LLMs in the same uh, format, the OpenAI one. This uh, light LLM, it also have a load balancing and uh, in case uh, one uh, LLM that you're using goes down, you can use another one as a fail safe. In case something it happens with one uh, LLM, you can uh, redirect the traffic easily to other LLM. You don't need to change the application and this it's uh, working with about 1500 requests a second and it can easily be installed in Docker. It can be used with various applications. And it also has a UI and uh, right now if we're going to check this is their website light LLM and you see in here that uh, yeah it's uh, it supports more than 100 LLMs and uh, you have the github that has more than 10,000 stars for for this so you see in here it has 11,300 stars and this can be easily deployed with the help of docker if you're going to check the providers, you see in here that you have the list with the provider. You can go with Mistral, Anthropic, Google. You can go with uh, Hugging Face, LLMs, with the NVIDIA, NIM, and so on. Olama, if you want to, to use Grok. And it has a lot of LLM providers that can be configured. Besides that, you have an UI that can be used. So if you are deploying this with uh, the database option we are going to see this you have also this ui where you can create your api keys in here you have the models so you can go in here and add the model you can choose the provider from from a list model name you choose the model you put the api key for the for the model you have the options to add it to an organization so you can set budgets for the organization you have the analytics for for the models you have the usage, so this will also provide some usage and you can set budget for teams and LLMs. You can create teams with users, you have logging and alerts, you can enable caching if you want with uh, Redis. In here you have the budgets and you have the admin settings that you can add users. So yeah, it has like a basic UI that can help you customize some of the things in light LLM. And for instance, this can be deployed easily. I have here the open web UI that I have deployed in the previous video with Olama. And in here I am using Light LLM to proxy the open AI request and cloud request. Basically to configure cloud in open web UI, you need Light LLM or pipelines. And in this, I have used the light LLM. We are going to see how we can do that. And in here, for instance, we can go and type something. Who are you? And uh, right now the OpenAI, it will be used and it will go and uh, use the API. So we can configure this easily. I've also created an article with all of these things. So let's get going and see how we can deploy the light LLM to your Docker container so you can use it with your application. So the first thing that will be needed is to have a server where you can deploy this. You can have a VPS with Hesner, DigitalOcean or any other things you may want to, to have. And in here I have also created some tutorials with traffic because we are going to use traffic to expose the application. And uh, I will let the details into the description of how we can configure traffic with SSL certificates and so on. And uh, to manage the Docker containers, I will go to use Dogge. Again, you will find everything in these videos. And uh, when installing Light LLM, and this is the no database option, you will not have an UI for this. You will have this uh, light configuration.yaml file. And in here you can go and uh, tell the model list that you want to configure. You see in here you are adding them like this. And then you have the light LLM options and in here you have the image that we are going to use. It will have the restart option unless it's stopped. And you have some commands. Basically you are telling it to start with your configuration file where you put the details in there. 
And in the environment, you have some details like Light LLM master key. Basically, this is the API key, OpenAI API key, and or a Anthropic API key. So you can configure in here the keys for to your LLMs and volumes. And in here, you're just telling the configuration file to go and use the configuration file. If you are going to check the environment files, you have to set the Light LLM master key. This will be easy. Just create a uh, random number that can be hard to, to break. And in here you put the other keys. And in here we can check, for instance, the Open Web UI with this configure. So in here I have the Open Web UI with the labels for traffic. You can check the previous videos. And what I've added extra is the Open API key, which is, which is the key that uh, we're going to set in the environment variables. And in here you have the Open API base URL. And in here we have the light LLM. This is the container 400, 4000 port and version one. And then you have the light LLM one in here. It's going to the same network like traffic network and it has the details that we have already discussed. So this is already set up and like this, it's working with the open web UI. So yeah, right now you can add any LLM to open web UI with the help of light LLM. And it's residing in the same Docker Compose files with the application. And right now, let's go and check the second options. This is the standalone options that will help you uh, have a database with an uh, UI for your application. And we are going to deploy this. So basically, this is the Docker Compose file for this. We are going to use the same image in here. But the different things in here is the database URL for the Postgres that we're creating and I set everything into environment variables. You have the API key that you need to set and uh, you have the UI user password and um, store model in DB equals to true. And right now we are adding this to traffic with a uh, subdomain and a port for 4000. And you can use any reverse proxy you want and you can expose the port. You can even use the Cloudflare tunnels for this. I already created the tutorial in the past with that. I will let you the link. And then you have the light LLM database and here are the Postgres 16. It will do a health check. And you have the volumes for this with the user and password. And then you will have the environment details. And let's go and uh, configure this so you can see how it's done. So this is Dogje. Let me delete this previous installation before. And right now let's go and copy the configuration file from here, the Docker Compose one. So I'll copy everything. And in here in Docg, I will create a new Compose file. I'll put a light LLM like this. And in here I'll put a Compose file for this. And the only thing that I need to do in here to put the domain that I'm using, so it will be my bitdoze.com. The rest, will, the rest, it will remain the same. And what we should do is to go and copy the environment variables with the database users, access users and everything. Let's put them in here. And in here, we also need to add the LLM master key because it's missing. I will update the documentation. And in here, I will just create a random key. You need to create it secure so you can uh, you can be more protected. And right now, we hit save. And what we should do is to go and start this. And right now, this will be started. Database will be up. And uh, then the application should be available. This shouldn't take a lot. So right now, the database is created. And uh, we should have the start in here. So you see that you have the 4000 port that it's used. And uh, right now, let's go and see if this is accessible. Let me open a new incognito window. And in here, I will just type this. And right now, you see that this is accessible. And in here, you have the initial interface with the APIs that can be used with, with this. These are the endpoints. And in here you have the UI. 
And in here you will just need to add your username and password that you have set. In my case, it's Bidoze Bidoze. And you hit submit. And right now you have access to the UI, so you can use it as, uh, as you like. Again, if you want, you can secure this with basic authentication and allow only the IPs that are internal to, to access this without the basic authentication for the external to add an extra layer if you want. So you can do a lot of things and uh, yeah, you can start using Light LLM to simplify your application code and uh, change everything easily in case you need to change the LLM or to add load balancing to your LLM application. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, Light LLM help you create uh, better AI applications. If you like what you have seen, please don't forget to like and subscribe.